One of the most common concepts you hear in Git is staged changes. What does this mean? I'll be using this simple project here. This is a Git project. I'll be using this to explain what staged changes means. I have file1.js, I have file2.js, which is in the SRC directory, and I have readme.md. All of this text here are just random text to explain what I mean. When you make changes in some files in your project, the next thing you want to do is to commit that change and committing that change can be interpreted as creating a new version of your project which contains the changes that were made so let's say i make some changes to my file let's say in file1.js i add another comment here in file2.js i'll just add constant variable is equal to two in readme.md i'll just come here and say more random stuff and these are the changes that i have made in my project and now i want to commit these changes as a new version of my project committing these changes requires two phases the first phase is adding those changes to the staging area and in the staging area these changes would be called staged changes and the second phase is taking a snapshot of the staging area first let's look at adding changes to the staging area and this is where we get to understand what staged changes are now if i run git status uh, let me extend this a bit you see here it says changes not staged for commit which means these changes have not been staged yet now if i try to make a commit watch what happens let's say i make a commit with the message new stuff see what it says here no changes added to commit so when you want to make a commit like i said you first have to add changes to the staging area and those are the changes that would be included in the commit so how do i add changes to the staging area i can do that with the git add command and i can say git add and then i specify the files that i want to add let's say i want to add file1.js that one is in the staging area now if i run git status you can see changes to be committed and then we have file1.js now file1.js is a staged change but readme.md and src slash file2.js Yes, they have not been added to the staging area yet so they are still on staged changes so if i try to run a commit right now this commit would include only this file but let's say i want to add another file also i'll do git add src slash file2.js come here again and i run git status by the way git status shows me the state of my git project you see now i have changes to be committed and then i have these two files which includes the new changes these are the staged changes or you can say these are the changes in the staging area but this one is still not in the staging area we have added changes to the staging area the next step is taking a snapshot of the staging area so if i try to make a commit now git commit hyphen m for my message and then i say new stuff this new commit here would include the changes on file1.js and file2.js which are in the staging area so i'm going to run it like this if i do git log you can see all the commits i have in this git project and this is the one i just added now new stuff and this commit has this id and this commit includes the new changes that i introduced to file1.js and file2.js if i come here now and i run git status you can see the staging area has been cleared the reason for that is when i took a snapshot that snapshot captured the changes in the staging area added it to the commit and then the staging area becomes empty so now you can see there are no, there is no staging area here and the only file that we have changed is the readme.md which we didn't include to the staging area and that is why it was not included in the snapshot so now you have seen what stage changes are like i said these are changes that you add to the staging area and then when you try to create the commit you are taking a snapshot of that stage area so that snapshot would include the changes that you have added to the staging area if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and also turn on notifications for more git concepts i'll be explaining on my channel